It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a very familiar box here. Has it been a year already? What do we have? I guess it has. We have Wild Turkey Master's Key bottled in bond. That was a little anticlimactic, but there it is. Let's go ahead and take it out of its box. So bottled and bond. Yep, 100 yep. proof. 100 proof. Now that is unusual for Wild Turkey, who is. is known, I think, for 101. 101, right? Yeah, so this is actually the second time ever that they have done a bottled and bond. Um, the first time was with American Spirit, and that was about 13 years ago. Mm. And that one was a 15 year old. This is 17 years. So this is the oldest bottled and bond they've ever done okay so you know master's keep always an exciting time i know we're uh we, you know, last we're time big wild turkey fans yes the last one was the cornerstone oh. rye we were big fans of that it is expensive more on that later but right now this beautiful cork is about to get popped i want to pop it off pop that cork oh. Shall I read the notes on the bottle they're staring right at me i can't lie to you i've seen them i have read them sure uh I don't want to lie to them in case so they're like, oh, that says that on the bottle, what you saw. Hmm. That's not how I think you guys sound. Okay. Um, anywho, notes of toasted oak, dark cherries, vanilla, toffee, spice, and hints of smoke. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited. Was this the fourth or oh, fifth no. Master's So let's see. Key. We had... Um, well, the first one was a 17-year. 17-year. And then we had the... Well, obviously... Decades. The decades. The the um, Cornerstone and the Oloroso. And then there was the Australian, the Australian only, only release, 1893. I can never remember the numbers. There's so many numbers in everything. Depending on if you count that one or not, because I think it was an export only, um, this is the... And its name was 1894. Right? You can do it too. It was 1894. Yeah. There you go. We know it. <laughs> we did. Um... So, depending on whether or not you count the export one, uh, this is the sixth one, or the fifth. Fifth if you don't count it, sixth if you do. Yeah. And I do. I, I count them because we have them all, so that's yes. that's why I count them. Why don't you brag a little uh, bit well, more, Chad? Well, thanks for Australian friends for helping out getting that yeah. uh, 1894. Sarah, I've already smelled this nose. I think you need to. Oh, it <laughs> is. Now we're gonna try to hold back the, you know, the fandom and give you guys an honest review, but we are looking forward to this. But that can be a bad thing, because there's, like, there's been things I've paid a lot of money for, been looking forward to, and then been sorely disappointed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think it's sometimes like um, movies, and you're so excited to see it, you've built it up so much in your mind, then you go see it, and it's uh, not exactly right what you wanted not the last jedi but maybe um <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and you know i'm gonna be honest because i was not a fan of that oloroso finish. right 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 wow this nose is just it's sort of quintessential wild turkey but it's but of it's course got more turned up i mean this so, is 17 years old in the barrel and you're getting that age there's a little bit of sort of like that leathery kind of tobacco note, mm -hmm. but I'm also getting like this brightness of almost like lemon or citrus. Y you were saying all the things that I want to say. With, you know, how turkey likes saline caramel. Right, and that little hint of cinnamon and that 100% agree, the toffee on the nose, I get. Um, now, now, let me just say, some people might be saying, well, turkey leans caramel, chat, all bourbons lean caramel. That's like saying it's vanilla and caramel. But you know, like, especially older turkey, older turkey that we've had from like so the 80s, caramely. 90s, like just Caramel, caramel candy. Caramel I bombs. Mean, yeah. I think what's surprising about this is the, the power of the nose and how much is going on there, knowing that it's only 100 proof. However, I think that's where that 17 years coming in. I mean, this has got some layers. And I'm actually drooling a little bit, so can we drink it? <laughs> yes, please. Let's, yes, please. <laughs> uh, it, it, yeah, I mean, it... Uh, it you just said I could. <laughs> it makes your mouth water. It has a savory quality to the nose. I'm just... Okay. He go. said I could. Here we go. The smoke. Yeah. The Whisk. oak. The smoke and oak. Trademarked. I'm going to open a barbecue and bourbon restaurant called, called smoke, smoke and Oak. And oak. Uh, that's gotta already exist. Damn. Come on, come on. Whoa. That's a little bit of a roller coaster. That smoke is still going. It is. Whenever I see smoke on a label, 
for bourbon, I'm like, okay, but yeah. is it really, or is it more of just like the charred wood flavor, like a toasty? Oh my um, goodness. So this is smoke. This roll's dark. It's, it's a lot. Um, it's the 17 years in yeah. that barrel is what that is. It, it It's almost like a coffee bean type of finish. A little tobacco. Definitely the tobacco. Yes, the wood, the oak. Um, it's almost like you can just, I'm just like picturing a barrel with, uh, yeah, you know, with the alligator char, yes. you know, number four char. Now Travels I down into here pretty quickly. Yeah, it really does. Do you think this would be a cigar lover's dream? Because I think it like would, to have with a cigar or is that too much? Is it too on, much I, of the same? I think it completely depends on the cigar. Sure, sure. You know, and, and we're obviously not cigar experts, nothing. but nothing. you know, I bet Jeremy Sires would know. I was just about to say, you know who I bet would know. Leaf and Barrel, his series over there, I bet he could definitely tell you a cigar that would go mm. well with a leathery, oaky, smoky type of bourbon. And then going back to the nose after the taste is always a nice little treat. Um, I'm getting that that lemon note, what I'm leaning towards, but that clove is more in there now clove. after after tasting it. I still get a bunch of toffee. Yeah, toffee. Man, I tell you what, I have Have you had it your second sip? I have not. I don't remember. I don't I think either. I did. I think I did. <laughs> I've been enjoying this uh, experience for however long we've been jabbering here. It's a long got a, time. a yeah. Let's it's put a clock up. It's got a nice nice finish. Second sip. Okay, probably my third. You give this to me blind. There is no Way. Would you call it 100 proof? I would call it 100 proof. There is no way I'm saying anything less than you, 110. You know what? I no could imagine way. myself saying if I had this blind, I'd be like, it tastes Ellie. You, <laughs> you would. Know? It tastes like, it yeah, tastes like a, a limited, Very, limited edition, mm -hmm, something that doesn't it. come around every day. True. Probably 110 proof. Maybe 120 tops. 110 to 115. Is where I would I say. I mean, it doesn't have the, the, Kind of the heat of like a 120. You don't it, think so? Not on the not on the tongue, not on the yeah, palate. Yeah, it's got it here. It's all it's here. All here with it's that like smoky. a chest spreader, <laughs> uh, in a good way, packing the punch. But you know how like a 120, like even just like a Knob Creek, you know, single barrel 120. Yeah. How that's more on your tongue and, yeah. and your side this cheeks. This does go here. Yeah, and this is more. <laughs> I always after him. He's a side cheeks, as opposed well, to well, the now, your, now, your cheeks are on the side. And that's the reason why I say it. Now. I know. <laughs> um, and, and here's something that we haven't had the luxury of being able to do in a while, actually, Sarah. This has an exceptional mouthfeel. It does. Exceptional mouthfeel. But wow, this really is working. In is this the exceptional mouthfeel, though, or is it here? Well, it's it's both. Yeah. But you're right. It's exceptional it's so chest, chest feel. feel. They don't make that. Wow. Well, we're making it now. Exceptional chest feel. Meets exceptional mouthfeel, exceptional finish, and the age is really an exceptional dent in your wallet too, because yeah. this is 175. I think MSRP. it's 175 MSRP. We got it for 200 um, at a chain store, but um, yeah, we had to pay 200 for it. But I'm actually not too mad about that right now. It's something that you don't get to try every day, if that makes sense. I can't remember Whew. the last bourbon that I had that I think came along with these characteristics. It's been a long time. That we just sat here and just ruminated on. Right. For a while. 200's a lot. It is. I would have preferred that 175. Even still. But you know what? But the 17, 17 I mean, not that age is not everything. The Masters Keep. Oh, and we should also say this is, I mean, this is an Ellie. This is limited. It's limited to 14,400 bottles. Right. So this is one of 14,400. But is it your favorite to Masters Keep? I don't know. Yeah. Do I detect a, a master's teeth fight? <laughs> oh man. Would people like that or just piss them off? I don't know. It could just piss them off or they could find it entertaining. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe it's informative. Like if I ever come across them, which one would because I choose? You, you can. That's the thing. You can. You can. I, uh, I've, and when I was out looking for this, saw two places that had the Cornerstone Rye. That's a year old now, over a year yeah. old. No, I've seen be, decades in little liquor stores. The, seven, the original 17 year would be harder to find. That is harder to find. But Oloroso I've seen. I've seen the Oloroso, yeah. yeah. So you can still find can these still things find on the shelf, so maybe that would be a good flight. I really like a lot of the flavors, and I can appreciate the smoke, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna say, you know what I really want? 
that bottled and bond wild turkey master's key. Really? I really, really like all the flavors. I'm just not a super smoky person. Well, you know what? You should try putting some water in it. Here's a, here is an actual dropper. This is what you do when you don't have a dropper. But we have a dropper. Well, I already got five drops in okay. there. That's how they did in the olden days. That's how they did it in the olden days. Oh, that really lets the desserty notes come through more. That cherry comes through more. This Ooh. this is a bourbon that drinks like a meal. I mean, it really, it's like I just had a big. I was, you know, my go-to is to say a steak, but like. I was gonna say, Chad, is it like you had a big juicy steak? <laughs> it's more like burnt end. Mm. It's a burnt end brisket with some mashed potatoes. Like mashed them taters. I, I, I feel like I kind of carbo loaded. I feel full of this. <laughs> And this is all good. I enjoy all of these things that are happening to me right now. While you're ruminating on that though, Sarah, we want to tell you about our home on the internet is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get Glen Karen such as these, water glasses such as these, uh, rocks glasses, challenge coins, t-shirts that neither one of us are wearing, but t-shirts. T-shirts, not this one. <laughs> and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash night. We will do an after the episode about this over there for patrons only. We also do, you know, patron only podcasts, meetups, barrel picks sometimes, <laughs> and more. Yes. And um, that's, yeah, that's over there. Yeah, patreon.com slash All right, Sarah, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you? What do you? What do you? On first sip, I thought, oh, the dessert flavors are coming through more. I do get more like kind of berry. Yeah, I think though, I got the cherry more. On second sip though, it felt like all those really rich toffee, coffee, type of, you know, dense flavors mm -hmm. were just kind of... They, it's, it's more heat on the palate now. Yeah, it, it. I think it takes that nice mouthfeel down a couple notches. It kind of dissipates those really rich flavors and it's more smoke even. It's just like, because mm. those are kind of hampered down, it's just really letting the smoke take control, um, which I think that those rich flavors were doing a pretty good job of m meeting the smoke level yeah. on it, um, unadulterated. unadulterated. So I would say, I'm gonna say no water on this, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, it's already a hundred proof, like clearly. Great proof. It was a it was a good proof, so. But no, I think this was completely um, the right bourbon to try some water in. I have to agree with you though, I like it sans water. It, it kind of just tones down the exceptionality that, I... and the uniqueness that this is bringing to the table. Can you um, imagine this at barrel proof? I want to imagine that barrel proof. <laughs> my God, I mean. <laughs> Have you a moment? <sighs> All right, Sarah. This is the point where we do recommend or not. Two hundred dollars. It's an investment. I've already invested in every Master's Keep up until now. I wasn't gonna stop. I feel like other people are in that camp. I feel like if people have put in the money, even if it is a little bit more than they spent last, though I remember the rye being pretty expensive, but that's typical of rye. Yeah. Um, I can see them ponying up that little extra money to get this at 200, if you have to pay 200 for it. Mm, yeah. So I'm gonna give it a recommend. I think this is in running for the best of 2020. I don't know where it'll finish, but this will definitely be tried blind, uh, I, I can already say. I'm gonna have the unpopular opinion uh, oh. of, eh. because- Of the prize. No, maybe. If you like wild turkey and you like smoky, then I would say yes. Mm -hmm. If you're totally fine with spending the money. The money is the issue here. Let's The not, money is a big issue. The, the age is definitely good. I mean, we've established the flavors are good, mm -hmm. but smoky can be off-putting for some people. And so I think this one, like if it were me, if you asked me would I rather have another bottle of this or another bottle of the Cornerstone Rye, I would pick the Cornerstone Rye. Hey, future Chad and Sarah here uh, breaking in because we did the uncorking, we finished it, we started filming our Patreon only episode, which is called Another Round of Chad and Sarah. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, I think your opinion of the bottle and bond because we've tried some other masters keep has changed a little bit tell them real quickly how that has, has changed okay so i think you know i said you know the sideways thumb i think i would go more up 
because I think it's a great quality. I think it's just gonna come down to the fact of whether or not you like a smoky bourbon. Yeah, so. If you like a smoky bourbon, it's awesome, it's great. Yeah. You should get it. If you don't, then maybe try it at a bar first. <laughs> um, and because see. we brought out the Cornerstone Rye. Which I thought would be a, like a big winner. Um, and it was by a nose, mm. so. That's right. So anyway, if you wanna see those uh, those episodes, uh, again, it's uh, another round of Chad and Sarah over on our Patreon page. Um, sorry to give you a sales pitch, but sales we, w pitch. we wanted to break in with, with uh, you know, new developments. Well, new developments, yeah. yes. All right, back, Breaking. <laughs> back to past Chad and Sarah. Now here's something that we'll have to do. Uh, we go live on Sundays, typically, at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we'll have to try this in about a month. Oh yeah. After the bottle has been opened to see if, you know, some time and some air tones down the smokiness, how it, how exactly how it, affect it, it? it affects it, changes it. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that. But yeah. what, what, what price of a pour at a bar would you say to look out for? If you see this, go ahead and give it a try. I mean, I would say if it was $20 a pour. I was going to say 20. Yeah, I would definitely. Which is still a lot, but it's not sure. 200, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, that's we, just me. I'm sorry. We're not all. Disappoint. No, we're not always on the same page, and I think that's that's a good thing. It, it means we don't just go along with whatever the other person says. Watch me in a month be like, oh my god, it's the best thing <laughs> ever. I love it. Mm, well, well, we sh we shall we shall, we shall see. see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, great. That'll uh, that'll do it for us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already and like to do so, you can do that by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos that you can click on, and we hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>